Hello, the History Hikers are back once again in front of another castle, small castle, small ruin. We're in Ham in France, not Ham. Flanders. Ham. Ham. Uh, yeah, you have to give us some information? Well, Ham, Chateau, castle, was uh, also owned by the owners of Cousy, so the Lords of Cousy, and it also, well, had the same fate as Cousy. It was in 1917 bombed by the Germans. Germans. Well, of course, they don't give a nice viewpoint back to the French. Um, but before it was bombed, it served as a prison, most notably uh, imprisoning Napoleon Bonaparte III before he was emperor. Okay, let's uh, walk around and uh, see what's left to see. The town of Hall is located on the Somme department in northern France. The castle was built on the eastern side of town since this side lacked any natural defenses. In all likelihood, Ham is a name of Germanic origin. Ham in Frankish means bend in a bank. Mention of the castle Hamus Castellum dates back to as early as the 10th century, though it would have been destroyed some time later. The current remains date back as far as the 13th century when the castle was restored by Odo IV. Lord of Hom, to whom we owe the rectangular plan. When the line of Lords of Hom died out in the 14th century, the castle would pass on to Enguerrand VII of Coucy, who we also discuss in our video about the castle of Coucy. Check out the card in the top right. The castle would change hands several times more during the late Middle Ages. During this time, the defenses were improved significantly to resist the heavy weapons of the late Middle Ages. Around 1450, the Gros Tour or Tour de Connetable was built. This impressive tower also served as a dungeon and had extraordinary dimensions. 33 meters high, 33 meters in diameter and walls 11 meters thick. Next to the home. That's the west of Ham, so it's West Ham. <laughs> <laughs> Football club. So you have the the brick stuff and then you have the Greystone. Mm -hmm. The bricks like, like seem the older. Remnants of a vaulted ceiling up there. Yeah. And the nice corbels. Corbeling on top in. Yeah, it's got, it's got some nice details. Mm -hmm. With its proximity to the northern French border, the town became an important strategic site during the 15th and 16th century. It attracted the ire of foreign armies. A prime example is the siege and eventual capture of the castle by Spanish troops in 1557. In the 17th century, Vauban improved the defenses even more by building several ravelins around the town. The castle had a rectangular ground plan with round towers at its corners and square towers in the midst of the curtain walls. The mighty Tour du Connetable would have stood on the northeastern corner. The gatehouse we see today was located on the western side of the castle and used to be protected by a ravelin. Originally it had a wet moat encircling it but this was drained when the Canal de la Somme was constructed next to the castle in 1770. Check out the website of the castle to find out more interesting facts and photos. The link is in the description below.
This probably was like a cannon shooty place. <laughs> shooty place, yes, this was <laughs> probably a shooty place. The technical term, the cannon shooty place. The castle's military use waned during the 18th and 19th century. During this time, its main purpose was as a state prison for prominent prisoners, such as Mirabeau, the Marquis de Sade, and of course, Louis-Napoleon Bonaparte, whose successful escape remains a highlight of the castle's history. On February 25th, 1846, at 7 o'clock in the morning, Louis-Napoleon escaped from his prison in Ham, disguised as a mason and answering to the name of Badinguet. In 1870, during the Franco-Prussian War, the town was encircled by French troops. They forced the Prussian occupiers to sign a surrender. It is apparently the only French victory during the war where Prussian troops surrendered. During World War I, the town was captured by German troops. Sadly, the castle met the same fate as the castle of Cousy when in 1917 it was dynamited during the German retreat and the scorched earth tactics employed by General Rudendorf. Again, a short video, probably. Uh, I have to edit it, of course. Um, <laughs> this is the castle of Home. 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 Difficult to pronounce for us Flemish people because we have a home. Um, yeah, the arbitrary castle score. Time for uh, to give some scores. Um, I'm gonna go for four. Yes, so four. I'm gonna go for a four. If I was able to touch it, of course, I would add points. But at least there's uh, some signage. Uh, there's another wall left. Uh, nice details as well on the, the walls here. So a four. What are you gonna say? I'd say four and a half, maybe five score would go up if we were able to go inside uh, which we were not right now we can't but uh, indeed the details were very nice some evidence of faulted ceilings uh, <laughs> so yeah pretty nice okay we're the history hikers we are in Ham. we're going to another castle soon or something else of course if you like this video please like comment subscribe and all the good youtube stuff thank you for watching and until next time. Bye! Bye.